Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday. You know what that means. Welcome along to episode number 34 of our F1 Manager 23 career mode with Team Alfa Romeo F1 Kick. And it is time for the Canadian Grand Prix. This one is going to be a absolute doozy of a race. I hope it uh, will be. If you like the uh, content you see, do consider uh, subscribing. Also consider hitting that like button as Red Bull lead the way in the Constructors' Championship by a mile. Followed by uh, Aston Martin, Mercedes, Ferrari, Alpine, Williams, Alfa Romeo in P7. Nice. McLaren, Hassan, Alfa Tori bringing up the rear. In the Drivers' Championship, Max Verstappen leads by 53 points from Fernando Alonso, then Sergio Perez, Lance Stroll, George Russell, Charles Leclerc, Lewis Hamilton, Carlos Sainz, Esteban Ocon and Yuki Tsunoda rounds out your top 10. We're somewhere, we just uh, don't know where. Uh, we're still 8th in the uh, Pit Stop Challenge after 4 more points in uh, Spain. You'd love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. Uh, Frederick Vesti leads the F2 Championship, which is always nice to see. And I assume that... Oh, it's Juan Manuel Correa leads the uh, F3 Championship now, ahead of Gregoire Saucy and uh, Fudu Tanagotchi. So, that being said, go take um, practice with uh, Valtteri and Guan Yu, and we'll see what the other side is for the Canadian Grand Prix. Hopefully, no crashes, no incidents, no problems. All righty then, on to Q3. Sorry, Q1, sorry. No uh, rain expected, which is fine. That's uh, nothing unusual there. So, let's go do our two-run plan and see uh, where it is... Uh, we can go from here hopefully we can go uh, somewhere I don't uh, quite know where it uh, will be we can go but uh, you know what I'm going to try staying out to the end of the session here let me uh... oh dear me there we go Let's do, let me just do uh, this here a second, uh, do that, do that, do that, take the transport there, perfect, thank you very much. Alright, just uh, dealing with something on my uh, phone at the moment, at the, uh, at the same time, which is uh, fine. Uh, we're the only ones that have not set a time along with Yuki Tsunoda and uh, Hollywood Land Stroll. So we'll, uh, let's change that. Let's get out there, put a lap together and uh, hopefully, hopefully he says, we'll, um, we'll be able to do uh, something nice. Oh, like I says, Bottas is on an out lap, but Joe is not. Okay, that's loud. All right, let's get Joe out. I forgot to send Joe out. That's, <laughs> that's on me. <laughs> that's on me. Ow. There we go, right. So, let's see what both of them can do. Nicely through the champions uh, chicane there. Loving the uh, life. Two greens for Valtteri. It's going to be a... Well, it's only P14 for Valtteri. That's a bit... Dis Oy, Jesus! Who was that car that was chilling in the middle of the road coming at us? I want to know who that car was, because that car could have absolutely annihilated the pair of them. Jesus H. Guan Yu P15. And a clean pair of shorts after that. Bottas is not improving. So, I'm trying to see who's behind him that could improve. Uh, I don't really see anyone that could. How's Joe doing? Joe's got green in the middle, so Joe's improving. Valtteri's not improved. So that's Valtteri done. Let's hope we can get P14 with uh, Valtteri. Guan Yu cool, coming to champion Stop chicane. Through he goes. Now, how are you going to uh, improve on that lap there, uh, Valtteri? I mean, uh, Guan Yu. You're Guan Yu, not uh, Valtteri. You haven't improved. You're out. Because um, Hulkenberg has ju just uh, knocked us out. Does that mean K-Mag's going to knock us out as well? K-Mag is still out there. We are out. K-Mag is just not... Oh, you're kidding. You! You have got to be kidding. You have got to be kidding. Oh, that's new. Continue qualifying free results. So, Valtteri... Yeah, Valtteri's out with Nick DeVries 
Daniel Ricciardo and Oscar Piastri. So, yeah. Go. Ah, well, after that embarrass... How are we out with 100% confidence on Valtteri's car? Just how? Oh, we have rain. Oh, we have rain. Hello. How bad's this rain gonna get? Softs will go to it. Perfect. We can get them on the... Get them on softs. Oh my god, it's gonna absolutely heme it. So... Do I... When the rain comes, do we risk just absolutely going on wet tyres? I, I say... Here's what I say. We absolutely yeet these soft, meat soft tyres. Then when the time is right, we go on to straight to wet. Okay, straight to wet. Bypass the interstage. It could be worth bypassing the interstage because by the time we get to inters, it's going to be wet. So I would say completely bypass the interstage and go to wet. Although Valtteri wants to go uh, straight on, doesn't he? Then again, Valtteri Bottas. I'll see what the others do during their stops. See what the others do during their stops. But I, I confidently think we're going to be going straight. For, they think we're going from an, to an inter. I think we're going to a wet. I want to see what they do first before, uh, before anything happens. Which is uh, absolutely fine. Anyway... Good luck out there, gentlemen. We scored points in Miami in very similar conditions. Miami is also in the Americas, along with Canada. Doesn't take a genius to uh, connect those jot dots, but uh, we have to wait and see. 70 laps of the Canadian Grand Prix await our drivers here in Montreal. And here's George Russell settling in for the race. It's a second row start there in P4. The trick will be not to slip backwards because there are plenty looking to capitalise. But there's no more time left. We've got a race on our hands. This is it. We're moments away now at the Canadian Grand Prix. And it's lights out and away we go. Uh, away we go, absolutely. Let's go and uh, let's try and win, get some good points out of this uh, Valt. I cannot believe we got absolutely dumped out of Q1. Absolutely shafted out of Q1 we got, I can't believe it. I want to say I don't believe it, but unfortunately it happened. And uh, we got a little bit of a Bottas now, already up to P15, that's good. We can, get a, we can still get a P15 out of this, we can still get a fairly decent finish. We just need to apply ourselves and... Make sure that we uh, we do everything right. Okay, we're just having a, a bit of a debate on um, on the uh, Super Discord for the uh, for the championship I do every Sunday. There may be a possibility we're doing two races. I mean, I two races the same day. I wouldn't be uh, down for that. I'd rather do a Saturday Sunday personally. I I would happily sacrifice a Saturday to uh, to go out to uh, to um, sorry. Uh, on board with uh, Guan Yu, I should say, uh, here. I'll be happy to do a Saturday to uh, get a race in, but uh, no way. No way I would uh, do two races. It's hard enough, right, doing two races for the channel on the same day. But doing two online races the same day, well, that just, uh, that just wouldn't happen for me, I'm afraid. Anyway, settle down, uh, lads. Let's go and uh, let's go and have some fun into turn one. Bottas has got uh, Sonoda, which is good. Okay, Hulkenberg overtakes uh, Bottas. Bottas down let's to P15. So Bottas briefly right, up to 14, but now back down eight. to 15. Alfa Romeo uh, overtaking the old uh, old team. Didn't they get points at this race? Last uh, last year, I think we did. I think we got a couple of points with Magnussen, didn't we? In the uh, in the rain. Okay, Bottas uh, overtakes Let's Hulkenberg up to P14 it. again. Good Heading boy uh, into oh into Champion That's a uh, that's a bit naughty there. That's a bit naughty there for Valtteri. But I respect it. Go. I respect him for trying it, folks. I do. Hulkenberg overtakes Bottas. <laughs> I don't respect this. There. 
Can they squeeze by? I, uh, I certainly, uh, don't, uh... Don't re don't expect uh, this right here, but uh, that's Hulkenberg back in the P14. Oh, oh my God, the rain is... Where's the rain? We knew the rain was coming. Right, what have you gone straight... Oh, he's gone to wets. Right, uh, in. In for wets now. I knew this was going to happen. We were going to go straight to wets here. So if anyone goes on an inter, they're in trouble. Right, get Bottas. Uh, show as Bottas just missed the... Uh, Thinking, no, Bottas is in right now. Please, God, no, no, f please, God, no. This is the one time we don't need errors. You, you will hear a man go absolutely crazy if we have a pit stop error. Okay, come on, get it on, get it on, get it on. What's happening? Ah! Sorry about that. That's a You'll be clear on pit exit. We may have lost a lot of time there. We'll be all clear coming out. We may have lost a lot of time there. But straight out and straight on with it. If anyone above us goes on to an inter, they're in trouble straight away. I'm, I'm going to call it right now. They're on a trouble. See who's there. Everyone above us has gone on to a wet. I think Russell is the first one on the wet. So everyone Hulkenberg onwards is in trouble right now. If they don't pit straight away, they're in trouble right now. That means, wow, did Verstappen and Hamilton not pit either? Oh, look at them struggling already in the hairpin alone. Okay, Alonso's had an issue at the pit stop. We're rising up the uh, positions here very, very quickly. It's going to be, is he going on to, if he goes on to Inters, he's in trouble. He's come off the wets onto the Inters. things go wrong. Oh no, are we in the inter-period? I think we might actually be in the inter-period. That's, uh, that's why this is uh, happening, isn't it? Yeah, we are. We're in the inter-period. Uh, that's uh, what's happening. So I'm going to say Joe on for one more lap just to see what uh, see what he thinks. We may It may dry up enough that we may go straight to a dry with, um, with Joe. Let's see what uh, Bottas does. But I, I, think, I think the right call is to get an inter on. So that, yeah, the right calls to get an inter on. So we probably should have, uh, it wasn't worth double stacking there for me. In case we had another issue. Hulkenberg's had an issue at uh, the pit stop. And quite frankly, I okay, don't give one. On I, re I really don't give one what uh, what his issue was. He can go and uh, suck a big one. Okay, here comes Joe oh, really? for uh, his stop. Now he's P11 at the moment. Bottas P17. So Bottas should get ahead of Joe. It's all about where Joe comes at. He was actually the last one to come onto the Inter, which is uh, useful. In for his stop. Very nice stop, lads. 2.8. Not bad. Not bad. Good hustle. Good hustle. Bottas is just coming past him now. So that's Joe. I think Joe's going to come out around about where uh, Nico Hulkenberg is. In fact, he could come out ahead of Nico Hulkenberg. Oh, safety car. Oh, safety car. That's Big. Red flag! Oh, red flag. Straight to a red flag. P Perez is about to fit it, I think, here. Oh, absolutely, that's a red flag. Absolute. Oh, my God, that Mercedes just... Is that a Mercedes or is that an Aston? I don't know. Couldn't and tell with like the, uh, that, the dark the colour change. I just couldn't uh, tell with the dark colour change there if uh, that was one or the other. But red flag is out. Session right, suspended. Right, I think we were just about to go dry as well and get uh, on with us here. Now, what's about to happen is Perez, uh, Perez is still stuck there. Oh, the Ferrari's just drove into him. Unbelievable. What on earth? Absolute scenes here at uh, Montreal. The Ferrari has just drove into the broken down car of Sergio Perez. What on earth? I do... I have seen some stuff in my time, but I do not believe I have just seen that. I think that's that Ferrari out as well. Right. Uh, what goes the distance? See, I want to say soft. I want to say a soft will go the distance here, but I don't think it will. Oh, this is, this is going to be the tough. It's definitely a dry tyre we're going for. We're going to risk this for a dry tyre. There's 20... 
26 laps left. I don't think the softs lasted that long. But it could be worth the gamble. Oh, this is a this is a tough call. I want to say medium. Medium will definitely make it. You know what? I'm gonna risk it. Let's go soft for Bottas and soft for Joe. This has got to be the absolute strategy call of a lifetime here. Absolute strategy call of a lifetime. I want to see what everyone else uh, goes to as well. So here we are, restart then, with 20 something laps to go, but I assume 26 laps to go. And lights out away we go again. Uh, it's going to be 25, 20, yeah, 26 laps uh, left to go. Uh, yeah, did not, uh, did not expect that one. So let's go deploy, let's go deploy, let's try and get some positions up to P14, P15, yeah, Perez and Leclerc out of this grub, softs will make it, brilliant. That well was a call, so we don't over punish these tyres, oh Joe was uh, on a medium, so I think we split them just to uh, make absolutely sure here. Just to make absolutely sure we've got this uh, completely right, but there is a chance we can push this engine really really hard I mean we could really push this uh, engine now and we can get a lovely uh, get a lovely uh, nice little run going as uh, Bottas thinks about the hairpin confidence is very high for Valtteri I like to uh, see that I love seeing that actually shows me that he's uh, a man on a mission all right then Okay, we're not going to catch him, Valtteri, so head down, let's carry on. Okay, we need to call the engineer as uh, Valtteri looks uh, around the out... I think he's going to dive it around the outside of turn three on Nick De Vries. Go on, Valtteri, stick that in there, son. Stick it in there, pick him off one at a time. Now dive it again, brilliant. Into turn... I think it's turn six here, isn't it? Yeah, we've got him perfectly, well done. Absolutely great move there from Val Valtteri. Absolutely class move. Yes, woohoo! That's the most celebration you're probably going to hear from Valtteri ever. And I mean, uh, ever. Because <laughs> Valtteri is Valtteri. Cool. To whom it may concern, goodbye. God bless. Okay, Joe overtakes there, the Debris is going backwards and backwards very quickly here, here as uh, Joe's going to fly it down the inside. He might have DRS as well. And if he does, he'll be able to get to the uh, back of Bottas. Both cars in the top 15, that's uh, that's what we love to see, although we've uh, had a bit of a helping hand there, if we'll be honest. Okay, De Vries has overtaken Joe again, again but that here. this is the problem here, because okay, so Joe's on the wrong tyre. But I, I wasn't confident in the fact that these softs could get to the end of this Grand Prix. I'm still not, if I'm being honest. I still think that they uh, won't the get to the end of the Grand Prix. And if not, then uh, Joe is going to be in the uh, prime position there to uh, have a word as uh, Joe's now overtaken De Vries and Ricardo has also overtaken the De Vries as well. Head down uh, to turn one through champion chicane. That is Joe up a position. Now will Ricard Ricardo's going to follow him. Absolutely uh, wild move from the poacher. Ricardo now overtakes uh, Joe. Now look, here we head into Same move. He's going to do the same move he did on De Vries on uh, Guan Yu Zhou. It's got really dark in here all of a sudden. I mean really dark. Let's have a look. Let me have a look outside quickly. And Daniel Ricciardo moves up... No, it looks, uh, looks alright uh, outside at uh, the moment. Right okay, Zhou overtakes Ricciardo. We're seeing nothing of Bottas. I think Bottas is having a ball. Yeah. Mind you, Bot I say we're seeing nothing of Bottas. I think he's uh, about to have a go at uh, the other Alpha Tauri up... Uh, no, the other Alpha Tauri's uh, right Guan here, isn't it? Past. They're both uh, here with Guan Yu. So who's that with Bottas is fighting? Oh, it's Kevin Magnussen he's fighting. Let's have a look at that. Ricardo passed show again. The straight here. It's certainly inviting. Come on, Guan Yu. I, w I want for Guan Yu. I want to see him get a top 15. I want to see him get a top 15 to prove he can belong in this team. I really want that. He's up to P. Oh, he's back down to P15 now because I thought he was up to P14. Then down to P15 because uh, Ricardo's uh, having a go with him. 
And look at this, we've got a lovely fight going here for last place. We've got Ricardo, uh, we've got uh, De Vries, we've got the other half of uh, Hulkenberg, we've got Guan Yu Zhou back here. There's a car missing, if I'm being honest. Yeah, that car is uh, Oscar Piastri. Uh, who, who's had some kind of issue. I don't know what uh, issue he's had, but uh, here comes Guan Yu back into P14 past Danny Ricardo. This could go on for the whole Grand Prix, this, uh, this fight between these two. And uh, I would be here for that fight as well. Okay, Ricardo's overtaken. Here's Joe Bottas has uh, lost now DRS to uh, K-Mag. But all we're giving you is this action here between Ricardo and Joe. That's all we're giving you, unfortunately. It's all we can afford to uh, give you at uh, the same time as well. Okay, uh, Joe has overtaken Ricardo. Now here we are, tackling. Ah, oh, see, go on, stick it in there in turn two, Guan Yu. Guan Yu, give us a wave. Guan Yu, Guan Yu, give us a wave. Guan Yu, give us a wave. Up into P14, thank you very much, says that man. Oh, safety car. Oh, a virtual safety car. Uh, that's a trap blocker, that's a red flag. That's a red flag, surely. Yes, what has yes, gone on have, here? We've had a crash. What, what has... There? It's going to be Lando. Lando. Oh, has understeered into the wall. I think he's collected... A, oh, he's collected cars as well. This has turned into a massacre. This has turned into a massacre. That's Lando out, surely. There's got to be other cars. Yeah, Lando's out. Now Everyone's that, stopped in. It has to be a red flag. There, there you go, red flag. It had to be. It just had to be a red flag situation. Now we can get sauce on everybody. Look, look at that mess. Oh, my God. That is an absolute mess. That's not Sonoda's fault. Okay, that's Jesus a red flag. wept. We need to start oh, that to is probably the biggest tires. crash I've ever seen okay. in Canadian history. Now we're just that, that beats the uh, Robert Kubica crash, if anyone remembers that crash. Clearly unable to take Jesus. Action. That will have knocked their confidence, I'm sure. There's going to be cars literally out here. Don't be surprised if uh, we get to a point now out of this with uh, all the retirements that's gone on. Only Norris, I think, has retired. I say only, but uh, yeah, let's get some new softs on. It's only going to be for uh, what? Probably a couple of laps. Virtual safety cars. Then I think we've done more than the virtual All safety car there game. So One second more. restart. If this is insane, I think we've. Uh, oh yeah, we got to get. Uh, oops, you One second. One second. We got to. Uh, have everybody, because we had them in uh, virtual safety car mode, didn't we? We don't want that. We got, we're in P what P12 and P14. We take that uh, absolutely gladly. Thank you very much. Let's uh, get on with Let's it again. It. See what uh, happens this time. How we got to go? We got uh, four laps to go. Bottas back to P12. The point. There's a point. The other side of that ass car, there's a point right there, and it belongs to Alexander Albon. It's possible, Joe, that uh, Bottas, if we go absolute full metal jacket on the uh, on the thing, yes, driving clean air, please, Valtteri. I want to see what uh, this car can do in clean air, if you uh, don't mind. Absolutely fling it down the inside. God, Joe's over to Oaken oh, Ricardo. I thought he was going to absolutely fling it down the inside of. Uh, Magnuson there. I would have loved to have seen that one. Is he going to try it again? Don't think he is. He might get uh, a little too close again. So with P12, P13 at the moment, I'll take that to, for the scrapbook. Ah, oh, come on, Valtteri. This, this is a perfect opportunity here. We've got to get a point here. I want to see us get a point. Guan Yu is coming as well, which is uh, awesome. Okay, final lap of the Grand Prix and uh, nothing happened. Verstappen is on the so final lap. Push. Bottas hasn't uh, gone any further than uh, P12. Joe hasn't gone any further than... Uh, the the, you can see how tantalisingly close the points are. Albon and Sonoda, I think, are nursing sick Williams's. So, they were, I would love to 
get past Magnuson right now, and then at least we could have one crack at uh, Mood push. Mood at push. Albon or Sonoda. I just want to have that one. Qu there might be the chance now. He's uh, got the run out of turn six, I think that was. Uh, five, six, no, seven. Into turn eight to go get Kevin. Come on. Come on, Valtteri. Ah, I'm getting a P11. Good. Yeah, look at that. Um, Sonoda is nursing a sick car here. He's got super DRS uh, on his car. Look at that. He's missing a wing. There is no way in hell he should be. Uh... Come on, Valtteri. Come on, we got nothing. We got absolutely nothing for him. What a shame. Unless he goes for an absolute dive bomb into the uh, final corner, which he's not going to, unfortunately. Ah, oh, we're going to miss out a point by that much. That much right there. Ah, oh, that's a painful one to swallow. Oh, look, it's Verstappen who's won again. Oh. Has taken first. Honestly, even the harshest. Literally everyone when they see Max Verstappen win again. Literally win. everyone. Uh, we missed out on a point by three for two and a half tenths. Ah, uh, that sucks. Absolutely sucks. A great drive today from Max Verstappen. It was a truly excellent win, with everything working together for the team and driver. We may see these kind of scenes a lot in Formula 1, but it's easy to forget just what it means to the whole team. Well, Max Verstappen can add yet another podium to his already impressive record. Six wins now in this season, they're not flagging. A mighty impressive victory. Plenty of smiles for the cameras as the drivers can let off some steam here in Montreal. Hello then, Carew. In terms of the Alfa Romeo team, how will they be feeling after that? It was a strangely mixed weekend for them. We saw one driver put in a strong performance but it was a different story for the other. Definitely positives there, though. And that's it for this weekend's F1 action here in Montreal. Next time, the teams will be forging ahead at full throttle through the Styrian Forest. The Austrian Grand Prix is right around the corner. Uh, but you know what? I know I say that sucks, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to berate my nap. I'm not going to berate the uh, the effort there. They put both put in a shift. P11 and P13. We will take that despite the uh, the crash. Even with the crashes, Bottas would have finished P14 anyway. Verstappen is gone. Let's uh, let's be honest. What's the gap now? 60, 61 points. Yeah, and Red Bull in the championship. Uh, well, gone. Uh, we had a fastest pit stop, Valtteri. Yay! We have a point. We have a point. We're still P8, but we have a point. That's one point more than we had uh, afterwards. So that two, what was it? A two four four. Wow, that, that's a, that's not a bad stop there from the uh, Alpha Boys. Two four four four. <clears throat> we take that. We absolutely take that. And uh, another two point eight in the uh, Kitty Cat. That is what we're talking about. We're getting a momentum run now with the Alpha team. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, bucky ducky doo -da. That's fine. But look at all these designs that we've got done now after this race. Could have done with them uh, beforehand. It's fine, though. It's fine. No, uh, no hassle, no fuss. We've got a uh, couple of parts that have failed. That's absolutely fine. We've got the helipad upgrade. Good. It's always good to have the helipad upgrade there, folks. Make sure your helipad is nice and upgraded so that uh, you'll be able to uh, convince all the teams to uh, come and uh, join your team. Right, we're going to have to cancel this for the moment. Bear with me a second, because I need to get these uh, projects done. Right, can we rush? Yes. 
Can we get... Okay, so... We can have a part here for... Uh, it looks like we have a part for Austria. But it's not going to get much further than that. So... I would say... Let's... Let's do these parts for Austria. But at the same time... They're going to be for Valtteri. We're going to have to put uh, Guan Yu on the back burner, unfortunately. He says unfortunately. Sorry, Guan Yu. That, that's just how it's uh, going to be for now. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get these manufactured. And then what I think I'll do... Uh, is what I think I'll do then is perhaps look into doing something else maybe when we get to where's the, oh, the next one's in 14 days okay so perhaps look into a wing upgrade get some wings uh, upgraded for say uh where's it called it's called uh, my battery is running low on my laptop that's uh, that's where it's called perhaps uh what would a balance do what would balance do because we need better airflow and better brake cooling or is it worth waiting for the R&D um, period? We could do it now. And it'd still be ready in 33 days. Let's do it. No R&D uh, help. Let's just do it. And then what I might do is, for the um, thingy, I might get a chassis done and see where we see where we go from there. That e that is my thought process at the moment. And Lord knows when I have a thought process, it's uh, not a good one. <laughs> okay, cool. So let's get some wings done, and that will be uh, that'll be absolutely fine. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you leave, did leave a like, don't forget to subscribe if you've not already done so. Playlists have appeared. Go check out some more Rockstar Pool 69 content. In the meantime, stay safe, be kind to each other. You can't be kind of crap. No place in the world to come kind to other people. We will see you tomorrow for F123. It is the French Grand Prix tomorrow. And we'll see you on Friday for the Austrian Grand Prix, where Valtteri is going to have some big upgrades.